What's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible DFS. Let's talk DraftKings FanDuel Fantasy Basketball segment for November 25th, 2019. All right, guys, as always, we're going to go ahead and jump to FanDuel and DK and check out one lineup, at least one lineup from each site. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, before I do so, let me go ahead and reveal this play for you guys so you guys can see who it is. You guys probably already have an idea. I like this guy since Kyrie been out, has been playing every single night. So there he is. Mr. Dan Weedy. Yeah, this guy has been amazing. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and check it out. Those lineups. All right. I try to, you know, let's check the cheap place, the cheap list first, then we'll check the lineup since I'm already here. So uh, by the time of fully, it's only 8.59, so by the time there will be a little bit more points scoring in those lineups. So we still have one more game that's not even started yet. It's about to start in about, well, it's about to lock in about one minute. This Today, I decided not to make any changes because the last changes I've been making, they've been destroying me actually i did make one but i think i like this one though anyway so let's go ahead and start uh i have uh, one maker for boston he most likely will enter in the starting lineup so uh, uh i like him at 4.3k you saw he play in the 20s in minutes so uh with kemba out that full right now so basically he's out for the game with his neck and possibly concussion so i want to make it on in both sides i didn't even check his pricing or actually i changed it i put him back in there he's only 4k in fd so i like him in both sides uh bowman most likely is over 5.5 i didn't even check his uh in dk if green bay i mean if green is out <laughs> green bay is playing right now if green is out then i like kai bowman at 4.6k all right there's another cheap player i like guy i didn't put him in there so let's go ahead and check him out uh rando uh i like rando but no rando is five point wait what point is rando i like rando at 4.4k so that's another player i like now he doesn't have any uh minute with restriction so i really like him you know the cheap player also i like his uh cory joseph is also a good guy he, that's the other player you can use and of course uh, i told you guys about rando shikila and if you get this start at 4.1k definitely in play uh, against uh portland i'm not sure if he used to play for portland but shikila and against uh definitely against that's a guy I really, really want to take a chance on if he is going to get back. Uh, Bambri, 5.3K, see like his price in FD. So let's go ahead and go back to, uh, uh, let's put Bowman there. Let's go with Wando. This first game, that's a game that's probably going to be very high scoring. All right, so um, Bambri, 5.3K, if he's going to get the start against Minnesota, most likely he will get some steal in this game. Uh, I like him regardless if he's going to get the start. If he gets this start, all right. Uh, as far as DK, let's finish with DK first. Bridges, I like him. He has been good the last two games. Hopefully, he keep it up. Uh, I put Jackson Jr. and Marketing in DK because the price is just too low. I know um, Marketing has been bad, but against Portland, uh, I think he will be fine at 5.5k. I just yes, I know I don't want to play him, but the fact that his price keep going down. I have to play him because this guy, I think he's very skillful just a matter of time before he go back to be himself. Jackson Jr., the only thing that can stop him is Jackson Jr. So hopefully that's not the case there, all right? Uh, the guy is, uh, has a great upside at 5.4K, definitely a guy you're going to want in your lineup. And uh, shoulder against Golden State, man, blowout or not? If August can, I don't think that's going to be a blowout. But if somehow OKC okay, so can blow out this team, sure they're gonna have all the ball in his hand to do whatever he wants against that team. All right, OG, uh, the price is just too low. Yes, he has been struggling since he came back with his eyes also get hit again. But I like him because he's a guy that plays defense. They're gonna need him in the ball game 
all right and also he's a guy that can rebound assist still even scoring and Cambridge last game I didn't really like him as much even though I play him a lot in TK because of his price I think this is the game to get him so I will definitely I think gonna bounce back and had a good game uh, I already talk about Londo and want to make her then shorter I will talk about him Bambui points 5.4 he had a great game tonight today so hopefully he continue that without Kyrie Hunter price 5.5 has been decent just to stay out of our trouble and the, as long as you get the minutes I like him uh Boucher actually I don't no I'm not gonna play Boucher I don't know that's not who I put in well I guess I put him there by mistake but I didn't mean to put him there all right so uh who did I put there ties that was the guy I put there I put ties there hopefully they can get the minutes so against Minnesota most likely they're gonna need him so tie I mean uh against the Kings so against the Kings so hopefully he can get the minutes if he get the minutes I think he's gonna be fine Birch I already told you guys I like him in the case price went down his price went up 100 and in FD's price went up went down so but I like him even at that price uh, and my Gasol has been playing much better I thought he was done but it looks like he's playing much better so I like him so now let's go ahead and check out uh, how those lineup doing then from there I'm gonna give you guys my three core players my star and of course the cheap play my star of the night my star of the segment let's check the gay and FD alright guys so this lineup basically bonds uh, that's basically the lineup okay guys I end up I ended up losing, I think, five or six teams in DK because I ran out of time. I had to do something. I couldn't get back in time to make my team. So I ended up losing some team. And also, I wanted to take Justin James out once. But Danovich was in. I couldn't do that in time. So that's hurt me there. But definitely was going to take him out. All right. And Kamensky right now is not looking good at all. You know, so not looking good. Tyler Johnson, 10. Hopefully he has a better second half. The same thing happened last time where he had about the same 11 and ended up with 30. So hopefully that's the case there. Kelly Oubre, I um, hope I, you got it. No, that's not good at all, man. I, yeah, definitely need more than that Kelly Oubre. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, Nikola Jokic, 22 right now. Uh, he has been struggling. I know last game was great, but that's because that game went to OT. So, you know, and basically, I really need. Uh, actually, that's not even that. So, I still have Paul George, but I don't see that lineup doing much. All right. I have a one that's probably going to do a little bit better, but for right now, we'll see what happens. As far as DK, FD, I feel a little more, much better because I was very high on uh, Murray. So, so far, right now, he has 29.3. Uh, it looks like that his team right now, you know, he, out of nowhere, sometimes he gave you those crazy great games. So right now, he has 29.3. And then, uh, yeah, the, the disappointment here was Bryant. I was expecting more from Bryant. And to clean out 19.1, I don't mind that at all. But I know which he did good. Uh, the fact that you are Bill that's struggling, so that's not bad at all. So this team, I kind of like it. I just wish... I had actually Wagner over Bryant, but then if I did, I would probably upgrade somewhere else, and then this thing could have just been bad. And Nags, I went about 50, 60% on Nags, but he didn't really play in the second half. I don't know what happened there. So this team should definitely will cash. Right now, 246, it's in, you know, and then uh, winning 18 right now, and I still got PG 13 or whatever it's gonna be, PG 3 or something. Well, PG, all right? So I still have this team. And then also this team right here, I had Smith, and, and I always I like to call him Anticlina. Anticlina, 19.1. So I have both from the same team. And Smith actually did a little bit better, but uh, that made me go up to Rendo, and Rendo didn't have a great game at all. But right now, it is in the winning lineup as far as the person that's winning right now. So... And then I'll take a chance on Reddick. So hopefully he can have one of those games. And I have Kawhi here. So 
this thing right now has what 165 i think you can still get up there and at least cash because of the fact that it's not a high scoring game and of course i still have uh, this thing right here with 168 and uh, the only person i have berkeley and booker man my god booker johnson and Obi, all three of them are killing me all right so i had wagner and Millsap. so we'll see what happened there but i don't like what's going on with this team and then i have that team right here where i went with Murray johnson oh 8.5 all right lou williams and Kawhi leonard and then of course i really need kelly win barton button starts so good and then yet and i have eight so we'll see what happened so this team can still do a little bit of some song bijelica bijelica was really good let's go ahead and check out uh, my five players guys so we can end this video all right guys so let's go ahead and jump in the case so uh my first call player he is back and because of that price so let me go here show you guys some real quick and come back to so let's put black then Black then is a point guard 8.5k all right so and then when you come here let's put him in shooting guard for now black then 6k that's 2.5k difference guy with that price i'm going to black then all right i'm there's no way i don't care if it's his first game back if he wasn't ready to go that's why they give him like about three four games off so he should be good to go and i don't think he's even gonna be in a uh, minute restriction so back then is my first core player okay and for my second core player guys i'm gonna go with then with it uh you got it i mean honestly let me then with it i like him that's why i put him there's a player i would rather play him as a core player but the fact that then with it you know he's gonna to me he's a little bit more safe that's why even though he's ceiling is not as high as the other players so let me put him there first then i'm gonna tell you who i'm talking about so then with you guys know how i like him i got him on my cover sheet so uh let's go to small forward and put jimmy bottle his price is i love that price against charlotte they're gonna he's gonna bounce back and had a great game he was on his way to a great game till, because the game was a blowout so he didn't play much in the second half so uh, i decided to go with then we do with Jimmy Butler as a core player, but uh, Jimmy Butler could be more like a star player, even though he's not my star on this list. All right, so and then my third core player, guys, I'm gonna go with Jimmy Butler, playmate as far as sports. That would be Ben. Okay, so Tanner, Bam, Bam. I mean, that twice, 7.1. That's another guy I like. So Bam, I like Bam at that price. So Bam is my third couple. Bam to me has only like one bad game. Basically, that was the last game, and he should bounce back against Charlotte. Nobody will be able to keep him off the board. This guy does a little bit of everything, so it starts tomorrow again. All right. So and then as far as my cheap play, I'm gonna go with so. I like birch guys so i was thinking of going with birch but i decide i decided to go with one maker all right 4.3k i'm gonna go with him over birch so that's my cheap play all right one of is my cheap play can i enter into starting lineup against the king i think he should do his thing hopefully he you know he will get in the 20s in minutes and hopefully that can turn to 20 plus minutes he points or and hopefully in the 30s all right um because when you're looking at the boston celtic there is not really a player that's like it's you know you know when you think of like kobe or you think of even kairi or or who else i can think of even paul george not Kawhi, pg you know it, there is nobody in the lakers that's like a score like you know one of those guys that's like you know i'm gonna score 40 points you don't really have those guys in boston so everybody have to do a little bit of every uh, a little bit of scoring so because of that reason that's why i go with one i make all right and then as far as master it's just too cheap man it's just too cheap 
So Giannis 11.8, Davis 9.7. That's just too cheap. We cannot, no. I cannot play Siakam because of Davis price when both are powerful and center. Davis is the guy I'm going to click on. All right. Davis is my star on the K. All right. So let's jump to FD. All right. Let's go to my notes real quick. As far as FD. FD, FD. That's DK. All right. With FD, guys, I'm going to go with. Okay. That's another. Uh, I'm going to go with. Zach as a core player against Portland. All right, it's an early game, so that's good. I'm gonna go with Zach as a core player. I like that twice, so Zach definitely a core player for me. I just hope he can do a little bit of not just scoring. This guy scored 49 real points and only have 52 fantasy points. I don't want to see that. I want to see you get 52 fantasy points with 30 points or something like that. All right, so let's hope he can do a little bit more than just scoring. And then my second core player, I know I didn't play him in DK because of his price, but in FD, with that price, I have to play him. And most likely, I will go 100% on him, and that's Isaac. You know, to me, when I think of Isaac, when I think of uh, uh, Giannis, when I think of, what's the other guy name? Let's go to uh, small forward real quick. So Siakam, all those guys remind me like that, the same kind of players. So I love Isaac 7K. Definitely, I'm going to go between 75 and 100% on him in FD. All right. So uh, that's my second core player, Isaac. Basically, right now, he's the man in Orlando. Those two guys are out. He got a score. He got a score. And the guy is a great defender with black, with rebounds. Definitely a guy. You don't you want to have in passive in both sides but especially in fd okay so let's go with the next guy that i have is with my note so I have isaac so when i make it in my initial list i didn't have when i make it i have faults because faults have to do a little bit more scoring and his minutes even went up but because of the one maker price, I want to give you guys a cheap price. That is really a good price at 4K. So I decided to replace Fault with one maker here. All right. You can play both together or you can replace them with Fault because Fault went to 28 minutes for the first time the entire year. So that's a good play. All right. And as far as my third core player, um, you guys know I love Dan Weedy. And uh, so. My choice was between Denwidi and Blake. Alright, Blake 7.3. This price is just amazing. You know, and his upside is higher than than Denwidi. So I'm gonna go with Blake here. I just make that decision right now. It's hard for me to choose anybody with Denwidi because of the fact that I know he's gonna so Blake, I'm gonna go with Blake here, man. I think Blake as bad as in our head, we might think he's been playing. He still averaged 31.29 fantasy points in FD. So imagine, all right? So Blake is my third core player. And then as far as my star, I'm going back to Trey Young here against Minnesota. Trey Young, back to being himself, get me at least 55 fantasy points here at 9.7K. So hopefully he can get 6X. So, you know. Uh, that's all I'm asking for. Basically, guys, that's it. All right. So we have then Weedy, Brogdon, Davis, Bam, and Wanamaker in DK. And we have Wanamaker, Trey Young, Zach Levine, Jonathan Isaac, and Blake Griffin. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys. Good luck. Hopefully, you guys did great over the weekend in sports and also had a great weekend with the family and friends. And uh, don't spend money that you guys cannot afford to lose. And the only thing left to say is, please drop a like in this video. I appreciate you guys. Turn on your bell notification. Turn on your bell notification. And subscribe if you have not. Share. Again, guys, I appreciate you guys. And I'm out. Mm -hmm.